Was that the hottest? Tell me the hottest show, the most unpleasant <clears throat> show. God, there's too many. I mean, we played in Phoenix on the Warp Tour, and it was something like 115 degrees outside. Oh, I, I really think the Vegas one, was because we were on the asphalt. Oh, yeah. And it was just baking it. Like, I think on the asphalt, it was like 120 or something. It was, it's surface of the sun, basically. Yeah, man. Right. I mean, you know, and, and so we, we got these ice packs to put up under here. Wow. And those just, like, melted they melted within the, before the first song was over. And then you're just wearing a bunch of water, you know, that is <laughs> stupid. And then, so, I mean, in that, like, what is your mind state on approaching that? Is it like, it's just like, don't, I'm gonna, die, don't, yeah, die, don't, don't die, die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Try to just, you have to take the other 23 hours a day to just be like, I'm just going <laughs> to try to prepare myself for the fact that i have to keep doing this every fucking day <laughs> pretty much man pretty much like in, in that situation you know and, and the regular shows are not not quite not quite that yeah. right I mean? it's not the go-go you're playing yeah. in a nightclub it's one thing because yeah i mean we play yeah. some hot sweltering nightclubs though i mean mm. you know the, uh, at least at the warp tour was outside so you did get a little bit of breeze and something like that going you know we played some shows that that uh uh, you know, especially when the altitude becomes involved. Oh, mm. yeah, Mexico was crazy. Yeah, we, we oh, played yeah. in Mexico. Nobody told me that Mexico yeah. City was, like, way up in the mountains. I, I, you just you know. suck at wind immediately. Yeah. So, so you hear about that about, like, Denver all the time. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't have thought that about Mexico. I mean, Mexico. when you're singing and fighting and running around like a crazy person, then that yeah. altitude hits you, you're just like... <gasps> you ever feel like you really just didn't deliver on a show because of it was just too much and you just sort of had a shitty show and you felt bad? People get sick. Mm. Yeah. And uh, and we do it. I mean, we've done shows with people with uh, uh, not not people, but uh, members of Guar vomiting right. yeah. all over each other, yes. like literally, you know, as sick as could possibly be. Yeah. Right. Um, show must go on. Yeah. And uh, and and in those situations, <laughs> I think sometimes maybe the fans got a little less than. <laughs> but with Guar, you're always getting more than you paid for yeah, because for we're sure. not a bunch of dicks staring at our shoes wearing fucking jeans and t-shirts. Yeah. Right. Have you had to? Uh, Tighten up your lifestyles a bit. I know earlier you were saying that you basically are here on earth just to do drugs and everything, but I'm sure that as you get older, it becomes a little bit tougher to live that lifestyle that made sense when you're 20, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you were just saying this the other day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I, I may look heavy to you, but I've literally lost 700 pounds. Yeah. When I was a wow. kid, I weighed 1,000 pounds. Yeah. It was wow. very impressive. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it's a. Uh, but yeah, I mean, certainly uh, you have to uh, <laughs> eat your Wheaties, do yeah, some working we, we, out. <laughs> we feel we feel things now for mm. sure. Uh, you know, now now we have chiropractors and massage <laughs> therapists come to the show. So wow, yeah, that's the future for sure. <laughs> Guar actually tried to enter the feminist future by having a woman join the band. It didn't exactly work out. Well, there, there was a woman already in the band before that woman showed right. up. Oh, really? A long and the time. woman before was actually way better than the woman that showed up <laughs> oh, later. So you replaced her with another woman? Well, we didn't quite replace her because if we replaced her, then that woman would have worked out. But she was not that good of a replacement. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but then you guys are in the awkward position of your guar, your aliens, but now you're arguing on Facebook about right. this, which yeah. is probably uh, not a reality. I think the human slaves were doing it. I don't yeah, think right, any of them. That was very stupid. But it's not a position that Guar probably necessarily sees themselves really. No. That's not where you want to be at. Look, I mean, right? no, you're right. You know, I mean, if, <laughs> if she measured up to the strong female character that we had beforehand, then it wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, yeah. But she was no match for Slemmitz Driving. Slemmitz Driving right. was the shit. And from its inception, Guar has had a female presence. Mm. And, uh, and only within the past sort of decade or so has that gone away. Yeah, okay. Uh, and so with, with Volvatron, we were trying, you know, because the original Guar woman, Slyminster Hyman, uh, and, then, and even before that, there were some that predated her, but yes. they were always there. Uh, and and uh, Slyminster was sort of the, 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 the best example. I mean, she... she developed her uh her image uh, in a way that was very uh very feminist yes. and mm -hmm. and very strong uh and 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 was able to move and dance on stage without feeling objectified she owned that mm. yeah she was very uh, and, very and, formidable right. yeah and that that issue was difficult for uh volvatron the one the the one that we got to replace her. She she really I think was more interested in singing, yeah, uh, 
but you know the band we have singers we've got we've got me and then we've got so, some other people in the band that sing so mm. i mean what we needed was somebody who she didn't have to dance but she had to at least move yeah right? move the body baby come on <laughs> she broke a rib on stage <laughs> what's that she broke a rib on stage uh, at the very last show, yeah. I drunkenly uh, yeah, that was, tipped to right. do a it was her leg fault. drop and then broke her rib somehow. There was a lot of things that when I was like doing my research on Guar the other night that I was just like, wow, this just sounds so insane. Like, <laughs> fucking, they, they, they kicked the girl out because she fucking broke a bone on stage being no, drunk? Uh, I don't know. There was other reasons. No, oh, yeah, 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 she broke that bone because she was fucking drunk hammered mm. hammered so, but you have to be pretty damn drunk to really compete with what i would i just assume that guar has to be pretty understanding about drinking to some extent right like you gotta yeah, get really but, drunk for know, guar to be, be like this is too gig. much yeah. you gotta be able to do the gig come right. on yeah. you know you break a rib you do some dumb crap then you know you're out well you remember what you said earlier about uh you know growing up and things getting a little harder you mm. know i mean like uh, drinking doesn't make that any easier no, not right? at all oh, yeah. uh, so you've got uh uh, you've got, you know, let's just say we don't need more of that. Right. <laughs> Trying to keep a, a sort of sane environment on the on the. Yeah, list. I mean, you know, this is a band that's had a lot of personal tragedy. Yeah. Uh, two members that uh, that died, not counting some other ones who people don't even know about yeah. who are in the band that have died. Yeah. Um, you know, and that, that that's a that's a powerful loss. Like, it's not like we need to take on uh some people who whose identity is based in 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 getting fucked up all the time yeah i hear that i don't want to drag anything up to the surface that might be too much to discuss but are you guys uh, still having issues with odorous's human forms father was that a, a real issue uh, no. no he's dead <laughs> he's gone oh, yeah wow. so problem solved <laughs> No but I mean, the stuff that was put out in the media about there's, you know, stuff about the ashes sounded really crazy. Like if you yeah. guys wanted to convince the world that you're actually psychopaths, some yeah. of that stuff in the media I was mean, like, what? Right. Yeah, I think yeah. they were I think they were under the uh, misconception that it would be like a garbage bag full of ashes, like a body's not this small. How did you get rid of that? What you I know? was reading, though, it made it sound like it was almost like a little Coke bag no, type situation. No, absolutely no. not. OK. No, it was it was uh, done in a respectful way. They just kind of blew it out of proportion for <laughs> well, their not own to means. mention that they <laughs> they stole the ashes. Yeah, uh, have you <laughs> yeah, we got to the corner, we broke in. <laughs> yeah, but we you know, do. You know how understanding the police are when you're trying to claim a body, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you know, no, we had fucking permission. Mm. Yes. So yeah, this, uh, you on know, the, the face of it, the media is. Fucking stupid, yes. man. I, they don't do their research no. most of the time. It's like ask some people who knew, who were there, right? Because <laughs> when you guys said like like there was, I read all these headlines that I immediately figured out weren't true about Guar with the female member and stuff, acting like it was like oh Guar got a female singer, and it's like oh yeah, you really want that to be true, so right, you yes. had a good headline. It was an that agenda. Day, huh? <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, no, I, I was looking at it the other day. Gua, it was in one of the big metal Mac. Guar confirms right. new female lead singer. Nobody fucking Nobody confirmed, confirmed. They that. just want it to be true yes. so bad because yeah. it's a good headline. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I understand what trump is saying right i mean like <laughs> these, these they, they, they do news, make uh, shit up they make news, shit up right you know but i mean uh, you guys aren't terribly sympathetic characters it's like we don't get, <laughs> so what if we got to hurt a few guar members feelings <laughs> right right but, but you know i mean like but but speaking of the ashes the uh the human slave that was dave brocky actually did get his own resting place uh we put it in hollywood cemetery uh what was that august uh Hollywood yeah, Cemetery right. is not so far it's away. In, well, no, no, it's in, it's in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, oh, right. yeah, there's a Hollywood in Richmond, Virginia. It's actually oh. a very famous cemetery. It's got a bunch of presidents, presidents buried there, and uh, uh, actually, it's probably most known for its extra, like huge amount of of a, a mass grave that's yeah. underneath a pyramid. There's full lots of, of Confederate yeah, soldiers buried dead, there. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. Wow. So they uh, made erected big pyramids yeah. there, right. there, and so you know, Odorous has his place there now. Okay. They, what, well, you know, what's crazy is that uh, Tupac's former band members, uh, Thug Life, like his former group, they smoked his ashes uh, in a blunt. Yeah. I mean, they they talked about this on DJ Vlad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we should have done that. We didn't save <laughs> enough for all that. We had to split That's it up a lot. With dad. I mean, everybody was getting their cut of the ashes. I mm. mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I want to hang around with like. MC Search just smoke some fucking. Is that his name? MC, MC Search. Search. Is it Search? Chris. 
MC Search, the, the white guy from. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that dude. Yeah. The weird guy that got almost killed by Hammer or something. Right, yeah. 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 Speaking of DJ Vlad, he was, he's, yeah. I just watched him explain that whole story recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to hang out with him yeah. and, and, and smoke the ashes of Tupac. Right. So oh, that, that'd be cool. That's the kind of rapper that you guys would be looking to spend some time with. What about like a 6 9 or like a. Yeah. Uh, no? Jeez. Uh, Come on. I'm going to fit in with Guar. <laughs> You know, it, you know it, it's. It, I, I don't understand the the the, the rainbow unicorn yeah, that's aspect the part of I'm that. I'm kind of trying to wrap my head around, like little pump him. All those guys kind of have that look. Uh, what's that? Uh, Post Malone, all those dudes. Well, he went with the full face tattoos. That's almost. It's almost well, it hard seems to, to be a prerequisite now, like face tattoos, but, but glittery I mean, hair. With, Post Malone was already so big and so famous, and he so clearly did not need to get those face tattoos to get some kind of attention. With Six Nine, it's like a big part of why people were paying attention to him was because he had a giant Six Nine all over his face. Right. Yeah. Post Malone doing it was sort of and 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 getting the words always tired too. It's kind of like, damn, dude, just take a nap. Is, uh, six yeah. Nine out well, of jail now? Or? No, but he's snitching his ass off. He might be out soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot is of he them... making records in jail? No, no, he's getting booty fucked <laughs> yeah. by some big over the really? phone. Yeah, totally, man. I mean, he's, he's you know. orange is the new blacken it up in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, look, we hang out with Ice Ice T. I mean, you know, that's a guy who supported Guar for a long time. Yeah. He gets uh, us, and he's and he's fun. He's a fun guy. Um, Seems like a great guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he is. And you know, I mean, but uh, six nine. I mean, it's a it's a weird thing. And like like you said, this whole generation of rap where where they they all seem that a little sleepy, right? Like the, <laughs> it's like I don't know what the fuck are they talking about. Fair enough. I'm wearing a cheap Keith shirt. He's kind of like the the OG king of mumble rap. Of well, sort of I just, mean, you know, uh, I'm sure that there's somebody who does it great, mm. but oh, he's one. Yeah, I mean, that, but you know, there's certain things where you hear a rapper rapping sounding really leaned out, and it's kind of like. Couldn't you at least maybe just do a little bit of an upper or something yeah. before you made the song? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I do a little that. bump before you come in. I mean, I say that about interviews too. Is it's like you know, there's nothing fun about interviewing somebody who's a Zan head. You bring me a coke head, yeah. we can have a blast. We're have a good interview here. Right. The same thing that's the most annoying thing in the world when a coke head corners you and you're sober and they're oh. just talking to you and you're just like, Jesus Christ, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> On camera, that stuff is the best human theater you could probably ever find. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. You guys never hung out with Charlie Sheen? No. Uh, no. I would no. like drink some of that tiger blood, though. Yeah. Mm. Love to hang out with Charlie Sheen. That'd, that'd slamming be a trip. eight gram rocks. That'd be a trip. Yeah. 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 I mean, because we're rocks. slamming those every night, too. Yeah, I, mean, I think we've been in the neighborhood of Emilio Estevez. But, yes. But, like, you know, uh, I mean, because we, we did work with uh, 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 Alex Winter from uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yes. Oh, Alex yeah. Winter is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Cusack. Yeah, big Kusak. war fan. Really? Yeah. Come, comes to shows. Oh, that's In fact, wasn't uh, they tried to develop a theatrical version of Fear and Loathing? Yeah. And that's, uh, I think we were working on uh, doing some production and props for them. Oh. Right. So Pretty cool. The, the, there's a lot of closet Gore fans all around the world that you oh, guys oh, sort yeah. of know about. There's just people who just happen to be like, when you find out that somebody's a Harry Potter fanatic, there's just some guy who's just a Gore head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I. I we're grateful, you know. Mm. I mean, it, it, it's an honor for us to have Ice T uh, come and play the barbecue and, and and be a guy that just really digs what we're doing. You know, it's like, I mean, there's a lot of Guar fans that 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 you that it does take me by surprise. Uh, I come, of course, I'm blanking on who those might be. Right <laughs> now, but, you know, I mean, people you don't never you never even think of, like you know, a country guy, like Hank Williams the third. What? Huge. You know, the, wow. uh, yeah. Uh, like, I mean, when, when, when Odor has passed, he uh, sent us a, a, a request that he wanted to, he had bought a mask from the Slave Pit, which is a production company that makes uh, the, a lot of the Guar equipment. Um, and uh, he wanted to put that mask on stage every night and uh -huh. have this sort of uh, 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 homage to yeah. To Odorous, yeah. So he's a, a big fan. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Good yeah. guy. How has uh, Guar adapted to the social media age? Not as good as Six Nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're you getting know. we're getting better at it. We're getting better. At right. It. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're we're trying. You know, 
We hired a social media manager. Oh, wow. You know, sound, fucking you, stupid job that sounds is. Sounds so it? modern, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> social media manager. But it, it's we need so, managing. We need funny managing to me across is, the board. It's the most obvious thing in the world that, of course, Gordy is a social media manager. Yeah. But it's just so strange to imagine. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. Like you what guys are he? fucking Elizabeth Warren over here. Or some <laughs> yeah. shit, you know? No, no, yeah, no. He, he, he's a wizard. He's like a, like a little three and a half foot tall wizard. Yes. That's our social media manager. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You ever think about uh, potentially turning him into an alien of sorts, <laughs> having him with a costume, even if he's just I like mean, a... he can turn himself. He's a wizard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is ridiculous that Gore needs a social media manager, but but we do. These are the times we live These in. These are huh? the times we live in. Isn't that so yeah, true? Yeah, you can't and, you know, and it's not like, a pole anymore. It's not like, you know, you know how how older people are with technology. Right. <laughs> yeah, Which well, button did I yeah, push? Yeah. Yeah. I could imagine you guys with an iPhone. Just... <laughs> Just bu button mashers, button mashers. Where's yeah. the Facebook? <laughs> yeah. No yeah, we, we had a show about that, actually. Oh, okay. A yeah. social media where Guar actually fought the it, internet. We didn't understand what the internet was. Yeah, we uh. thought it was something we could fight. <laughs> yeah, we thought, it, we thought we could kill it. <laughs> hey, what, what is the Guar barbecue like exactly? It's a great old time. Yeah, yeah. it was. A, you know, we, we're probably going to bring it back at some point in the future, but we've uh, suspended it for a while. But it was, uh, you know, it's something that started out as literally a barbecue with some rock bands playing mm. uh, and then grew into a, a, a festival, which is a rock festival where you have a bunch of metal bands and, uh, um, you know, and Body Count played one year wow. and, and uh, Hate Breeds played it. Oh, uh, nice. we, had, we had MC Chris on it one time. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and so you have... Uh, MC Chris is actually on the Guar album, the yeah. new Guar album, by the way. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he he does one of the. Yeah, we love Chris. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. And uh, you guys should have been on Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, I man. know, right? Yeah, we we wanted to fit right on in. That would have been an obvious uh, an obvious placement. Well, yeah. anywhere on Cartoon Network would be great. Mm. Yeah, Carl. I mean, Carl might as well be in Guar. You know? Yeah. <laughs> do you, Do you have that? mentality still because i was i was reading something that maybe it was the late 90s or so that you guys really believed that gore was like over at a certain point and then there ended up being a sort of resurgence there uh, was a down period that yeah. that was followed by uh you know i mean uh and gore <laughs> You talk sometimes this this uh, genre fluidity that you, rather than gender fluidity <laughs> that you're talking genre about fluidity. our genre fluidity it's not always to your advantage right you know uh. you, it can it can make things hard in the marketing department uh, and I think that uh, Guar got a little away from the metal thing and mm. uh, the 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 audience dipped for a while uh, but the band did resurge. Uh, um, and what I see a lot at shows is, uh, and, and especially since the Warp Tour, um, there's a lot of young people at Guar shows. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. interesting. There, yeah. That's what I was wondering. Way more than you would think. There's a lot of old people there, too. Yeah. But I would say mostly it's there, there's yeah. it's, a young, it's a young crowd, man. Yeah. Right? It's kind of, it's interesting, though, because in my head right now, I'm imagining a crazy Netflix documentary or a cartoon or something like that, and that because guar is such an idea that i could totally imagine just a huge surge of popularity coming through just because it was sort of blasted out in the right way i something. like the way yeah. you think yeah. See, i should be the let's social media manager <laughs> let's do it all you're fine <laughs> no i mean i think the, you know you mentioned marketing before it's like uh you know the giant dicks always kind of get us in trouble with these types of people uh, really? the suits in the room are like can you lose them and we're like how there's detached to us mm, but you like know, adam and eve they just got a couple of leaves there covering <laughs> it up and that's worked for them since the beginning of time <laughs> yeah i mean you know people people get upset you know <laughs> guar has got a lot of warts man i mean yeah like it's not like you know we're not going to be holding the tube of toothpaste hey, blothar uses crest aqua fresh you know I mean? but i feel like as the the world has changed that like maybe guar could be more acceptable in those sort of circumstances it's you're a, right i could imagine it, it yeah is, we're waiting for that day totally yeah. right i mean one <laughs> one one thing that we've seen is that guar is more acceptable in the uh what what i would call like the the sort of art establishment yeah really or the or the cultural establishment right mm. like guar guar has some fluency there right um and uh, you know, so we get invited to to do museum openings and to to you know, people understand that what we do is art, right? And uh, and that it's unique. Uh, so uh, maybe not commercially, but uh, 
I don't know what you'd call that. Artistically, socially, uh, Guar has uh, turned a corner in that way. Right. Yeah, that's so cool. Just to think about that that sustained mm -hmm. cultural relevance that you guys have ha managed to have for such an absurdly long period of time. It's very inspiring. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh, anything in particular that we got to look forward to aside from this? Adorable comic book that I'm going to read later. <laughs> adorable is that a good word? Adorable, for it? adorable. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's it, the comic book's coming out. The, the, it's a the graphic novel. Um, we're working on a new record. Yep. Mm. Uh, There'll be new music next year or the year after that. Uh, yeah, something like that. And uh, we're, uh, hopefully some, there'll definitely be lots of new merch. We'll probably have some skateboard decks. We'll ooh. have some uh, underwear. Uh, I don't know. What else? Uh, well, I mean, you know, uh, phone cases. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Pop <laughs> sockets. You can yeah, spin yeah. your phone around. Yeah. We got guar cannabis coming soon. We got no jumper weed. You guys got your own hey, strain, man. right? We we are trying to get a strain. Yes, we right are now. Trying to get a strain. Who does strain. that? Premium flower. Boy, look at that. I know. Look, he's got a whole. Grew that, grew that in my backyard. Oh, it's a one, you, a one pound bag. <laughs> well, sometimes you need to smoke a pound. That, that's an afternoon right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's just how it is. That's for later. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, so there's no end to which boy will whore ourselves out commercially. So mm. that's coming up. Uh, that's exciting. But you know, I mean, we're we're always working on something. There's a lot of things we're thinking about. A lot of uh, you know, trying to get some uh, inroads into television and film. And, yes. Mm. You know, so we're working on stuff. Well, I'm optimistic for sure. Um, Guar, I can't believe that we we made this happen. This has been a yes. real honor, guys. Thank you. And it was a damn good interview. Yes. Right? So you did normally good. you get kudos. Yeah. Normally uh, you'd be dead by now. <laughs> yeah. Do we do we kill you now or what? What are we doing? I'm here? just very excited to see all of the No Jumper subscribers who have absolutely no idea who Guar is and like how their initial reaction is to this because I just don't even know what they're gonna think. <laughs> but there's good stuff to uncover there, guys. So. Hell yeah. Come check us out. Come check us out on the internet. Like and subscribe. Yeah.